Hey guys, this is Paul with My Reseller Genie. And if you're watching this video, you're probably new. So welcome. We're happy to have you here. Today, I'm going to be talking through our Get Started setup feature. It's basically a series of forms that's going to take you through how to set up your Genie. So when you first log in, you're going to see this uh, little navigation thing. It's going to point out the Get Started tab over here. And then it'll also point out your uh, place where you can search for answers to your questions down in the bottom right. So if I click out of there, uh, we have our Get Started tab, and then you can start set up by clicking the button here. So the first thing it's going to ask you, this is really fundamental for reselling businesses, is how do you account for your inventory? So uh, accrual versus cash I'm not going to go into the differences in this video, but if you're not sure, click, I don't know what's the difference, and then it'll uh, take you to a link for an article that explains it. Um, basically, what this is going to do when you select accrual or cash is if you select cash, it's going to hide the inventory tabs. Uh, just what we found is that um, the inventory tabs can be confusing for some cash users, because if you're using the cash inventory method, you don't need to track inventory. So if you're using the accrual inventory method, everything, like all the inventory features are available. Um, now let's say you're a cash user, cash inventory method user, who wants to still track inventory for reasons other than accounting, just select the accrual inventory method, okay? So I'm gonna select accrual inventory method and I'll click continue. All right, so it gives us a little tip here. Um, I do recommend reading through this. This just explains uh, why you're keeping inventory in My Reseller Genie. And so that can kind of help you to think through like, all right, what inventory should I add into here? So I'm going to click, I understand. And then our question here is saying, do you sell on eBay? So if the answer is yes, select yes. If it's no, select no, it'll take you to the next question. But when we select yes, it's going to prompt us to add our eBay store. So Instead of a store name, I'm just going to put in eBay. All the data that gets pulled from eBay, uh, whatever name you put here is going to be your sale platform. So uh, eBay is good enough for me. I just have one store. And I'll go ahead and click Connect. And that's going to take me out to a sign-in screen for eBay. So I'll put in my password. And it signs me in, it brings me back here, and it pre-initiates this little walkthrough menu. So just you can just click out of that. Uh, okay, so I selected the accrual inventory method before, so I can choose to either import inventory or sales. So if you already have a list of inventory, um, I recommend uploading that as opposed to importing from a sale platform. But if you don't have a list of inventory, then you can import from whichever platform has most of your inventory. Since most people cross list, we recommend only importing from one platform. Uh, and we recommend choosing whichever platform you list more of your inventory to. Okay, so I'm gonna just say, go ahead and import my inventory. It's gonna give me a little bit of a, a loading icon while that request is sent. And then, I'm going to get this screen here. It says, great, inventory import has started. Do you want to import sales next? Yes. Yes, I do. So I click yes. And notice we can't import inventory again because we've already initiated that. So we're going to import our sales. You can select a start date and an end date. Uh, what we found is that usually you can pull back to 2022. Sometimes it doesn't work. You can absolutely pull back to uh, beginning of 2023. So I'll just choose January 2023 as my start date, and then my end date is the current month. So I'll click Import Sales, and that request will uh, start loading up. Great. So it tells us our imports have started. Click Continue Setup for your next steps. Okay, so do you have additional stores on eBay to integrate? 
So if you're someone who has multiple eBay stores, um, you can click yes here. Uh, okay, so if your plan that you signed up for doesn't have additional eBay stores, it'll prompt you to upgrade. Uh, you'll just increase the quantity of your ultimate subscription and that'll allow you additional eBay stores for every, um, every uh, extra eBay store. It's an extra $5 per month. So I'm going to click no here and next. All right. So do you sell on Poshmark? So if you do click yes, and what it's going to do is it's going to say, Hey, you need to add the my reseller genie web extension. So if we click get extension, it's going to take us to the Google Chrome web store and you just click add to Chrome, add extension, and the extension will be added. All right, so exit out of the Chrome store and it says, close your browser and log back into My Reseller Genie. Usually you can just refresh your browser and that will do the trick. Um, so now it says resume setup. I'll click resume setup. Okay, do you sell on Poshmark? Yes. Now we've already got our extension added. If you're signed into your Poshmark account on the browser that you're using, it's going to find your Poshmark store and prompt you to add it. If you're not logged into any Poshmark account, it'll give you a login screen and it'll say, okay, log into your Poshmark account. So I'm just going to go ahead and click add for my Poshmark account. Okay. Now this screen is really similar to the eBay screen. I already imported my inventory from eBay, so I'm gonna not do it from Poshmark as well. We'll just do sales from January, 2023. We'll click import. Okay, great. So it tells us our sales import has started and uh, it's asking, do we wanna import inventory next? I'm gonna say no, and that'll take me on to the next screen. Okay, so do you sell on Mercari? Yes. All right, so you can upload sales reports from Mercari. If you're not sure how to uh, get the sales reports, there's a link right here that'll give you instructions. Um, and then once you've downloaded your sales report from Mercari, you click here to upload the file. And I've got my sales report here. I'll click upload and voila, it's imported. Okay, so now it's saying, do you sell on any other platforms or do you have an existing spreadsheet that you'd like to upload? So like maybe you're, you've been using your own spreadsheet to track your sales or uh, you have maybe another reselling spreadsheet and you're trying to transition to my reseller genie. So in either case, uh, we'll click yes. And depending on what you're uploading, you can select it here. So let's just say I'm uploading some sales. It's gonna open up to this uh, dialog box. It, it has some instructions here about like the different fields that you can upload and then what data type they are. It'll give you examples and uh, descriptions for some of them. Okay, so I click next step and then I choose a file to upload. So I'll just upload this. All right, so it gives me a little preview here of what I've uploaded, and then I can map the columns in, in my upload to my reseller genie. So if your headers match what our headers are, it'll already be mapped. But if, say, uh, say this was purchase date instead of item title. You can just select select the column there. And you go through that for all of these, uh, all the fields that you're trying to upload. And then, and then you click next step. Okay, and then you'll click import data and that will start the process. So if you have any errors, the uploader will pick them out for you and will give you a little warning message about what needs to be fixed. So you can either fix it in the dialog or you can go back to the file you uploaded and fix it there. All right, so once we have 
uploaded things. I'll hit close. And it's going to ask us, do you have additional reports to upload? So if, you know, maybe you uploaded sales from one other platform and you have other platforms, this is where you would say yes. Or if you don't, you'll say no. All right. So I'm going to say no and click next. All right. So would you like to connect a bank account or credit card to my reseller genie? Let's just go ahead and select yes. It's going to prompt us to add a name for the account. So all the expenses that get pulled in from that account will have this name attached. So if I wanted to say like uh, Chase credit card and then the start date. So depending on your uh, institution, some of them may limit how far back we can pull data, but however far back you want to try, just put in the start date and we'll get as far back as we can. All right, so I'll click connect and then it's going to take me to this plaid dialog and you can select your institution. Uh, so there's some big ones that are listed here, but you can also search for your bank to select it and then just go through the login process with that bank. So I'm going to exit out of here. Um, now, if I had logged in, it would ask me if I wanted to make any other connections. Okay. And now we have, uh, do you have any other expenses that you would like to upload? So for example, if you have been tracking your expenses somewhere, maybe another accounting software or a spreadsheet, you could click yes here. And if you did, it would take you to uh, a similar screen to what we saw earlier for sales, um, but it's for expenses instead. So you would upload a file here, you'd match columns to columns in My Reseller Genie, and then finally upload it. All right, so I'm gonna click no. Now, this is for uh, the accrual inventory method. If you selected cash inventory method, you won't see this screen. It'll just basically say, great, you finished, congratulations. Uh, but for the accrual folks, it's going to remind you, hey, in order for this to work properly, you need to add your purchase price and purchase date to your sales and to your inventory. So it's going to say, go ahead and do that. Here's the ways that you can do it. The fastest way is using the bulk edit, but you can also double click on sales and inventory items to edit the item uh, manually. So it's gonna prompt you to say, I understand, I've read the message. And then it's gonna ask you, have you finished updating uh, the purchase prices? So if you select no, it's just gonna bring you back to this tip. If you select yes, it's going to say, congratulations, you completed the setup process. We'll click level up. And now our genie has been set up. So congratulations if you made it this far. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Support at My Reseller Genie. We are here to help. All right, thanks. And have a good night.